Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, August 19th. In our devotion for today, I want to continue with our series of looking at the faith practices that are outlined in the book of James. We're going through the whole book of James, and we're looking at ways and practices and habits that we can put in place that help grow our faith, our experience, our connection with God. Today's reading comes from James chapter 3, verses 13 to 18. If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you are bitterly jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying. For jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So today's faith practice is embracing humility. Now, there's some misunderstanding about what humility actually is. Too often we think of humility as that monk or spiritual guru who denies uh, everything in life, uh, denies worldly habits and worldly encounters and retreats and uh, starves themselves to death or whatever. Um, we think of humility as self-deprecation, of doing without. And that is not what humility is. Humility is not the opposite of pride. But humility is actually the opposite of selfish ambition or self-centeredness or just selfishness. We are not humble or when we think of ourselves as in the middle of uh, the world, that the world revolves around us and that it's all about me and that my self-fulfillment or my self-realization is the goal of my life. That is the opposite of humility. Humility is when we put God or other people's needs uh, as the focus of our life in meeting those needs and taking care of God or God's people and worshiping God and helping others when we realize that we are not the center of the universe and we are not actually even the main or character in our own life story, when we put God in that place, then we are being humble. Now, humble humility often is expressed by meeting other, putting other people's needs uh, ahead of yours, uh, of other people's concerns uh, and caring for others. Now, we do that not because we think other people are more important than us, we do that because we have faith and trust that God is going to be meeting our needs and therefore that enables us to focus not on our own needs, but on the needs of others because we have full confidence in God. And there we see how embracing uh, humility is actually a faith practice. As we embrace humility, what we are doing is we are acknowledging God's meeting my needs. I trust God and I'm going to act on that faith. We are putting our faith into action when we are saying, God's going to take care of me, I'm going to take care of other people. It's also a faith practice because as we embrace humility in our lives, what we are doing is taking our eyes off of ourselves and we're putting it upon God or other people. And that's such a crucial faith practice. Uh, it's a discipline, it's a habit, it's a lifestyle that we have to cultivate. It has to become a core part of who we are not putting our eyes on ourselves and looking else uh, uh, out for other people and looking for God. We do that because when we are self-consumed, when we are selfish, when our eyes are focused on ourselves, we are blind to what God is doing in this world. So often people uh, come to me and they say, God isn't active. I never see God moving or working in this world. What is God doing in my life? Sadly, people feel this way because they're too consumed with themselves. They're too busy looking at their own life, at their own not desires and needs and wants and uh, plans. Getting our eyes off ourselves is crucial if we're going to see and experience how God is moving in this world. And that is in of itself, that shifting of, our, uh, of where our focus, of our eyes, of uh, how we see our life, that is an important way of building up our faith and our experience of God. So humility does that. When we embrace and practice humility, when we grab it and we make it a value, an important thing of our lives, what we are doing is not self-deprecation. We're not denying our own importance or the importance of our own needs. We're simply expressing, God's gonna take care of me, so I'm gonna focus on taking care of others. And as I focus on others, it enables me to see 
and experience how God is really all the time moving in this world. And that builds my faith and trust in God. That's our faith practice. Embrace humility. Don't necessarily don't think of it as denying yourself, but instead looking to meet the needs of other people. Amen. It is Wednesday. Uh, I do want to point out we have uh, worship this weekend. Uh, our online worship is at uh, 10 o'clock. Our in-person worship is at 8 o'clock. Uh, come join us. Uh, our school is starting up today, Alpine Academy. So please, please pray for Alpine Academy, for the students that are gathering, for the teachers and the administrators uh, and everybody involved. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Praise God uh, and looking on those people who are most vulnerable. Amen.